Most of the time, not a sixteen, this is the point. He's given permission to the church. They work out. He said, we go use all the more to preach the gospel. They always get to be the belief in the dead time kind of thing. He believes not to be gone. He found the fire of them that believe in my name. They said, that's that bad of our ability to preach that they just have to call it in the And they just speak to the town. They just take the purpose that does not mean to take hands of faith. But they gave me a lot of help. I said, that's enough for the back of the stage that was left and run over the bed and run off with a bed for it. Amen? You don't take that joke, but I did not want to stand for the front of that. We need to turn the news that I called it with a five that came out of five and six. We did not. You know, a lot of people sometimes are supposed to be sick of the joke and die. And they say, we have no faith. That is the secret. Well, they may, I'll just come in with that. I'm saying that from time to time about how they went to a church that had brought the students to work too big to get up to the building. Got in there, the pastor on the platform, they got them. And then they went to the pastor, hey, come in with us, pastor, but they're fine. He said, yes, sir. So they got the students to the work of the church, and got the pastor. He's getting out to that same place that lights away. All of a sudden, somebody's going to do the same thing. So they're all right, sir. So I got into it. He said, where's the back door? I said, don't have one. He said, well, you have one. He said, we're going to put them in the room. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, I'm going to go back to that first item right here. They took, you know, they took up shepherds. And he said, you know, that's a good one. He said, you know, you're going to get a thing. You know, we're going to prove you're immune. You know, you can claim immunity and Jesus think you're accidentally to do something. It's time I help them. I lay hands on the sick and grab a pet. So they were asking the way he spoke to them. He was received up in heaven and sat on the right hand of God and went forth and preached everywhere. The Lord was working with them, confirming the word, the sign of something, not confirming the word. And then, that's the baby. You know what I mean? Now, the good condition of that set the disciples were unaffected to the air, they can affect them to see the signs of one. Yet Jesus saw it and instructed Jesus to make sure that he wanted to know that he wanted a supernatural church. In order to have a consistent manifestation of the Holy Spirit, he must have a have an expectant concerning things. You don't expect it, you're not going to get it. You don't believe it's going to happen, you're not going to see it happen. Amen. You kind of run around, well, whatever God's going to do, 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 God's going you don't even know expect it to be done. You know, you know God's saying we just don't know if you will. Well, you know, you gotta know that you will. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, Jesus told his disciples that slavery was followed during that belief. When we when you read the book of Acts, you can clearly see that uh those days faith of the ministry is expected the supernatural and they got there. Time and time again the Holy Spirit manifested itself and brought miracles in in, in the uh, sight of the eyes that were present. The Bible writes in Father. Jesus Christ is that we live in Acts 29. Let me just kind of uh, kind of say that. The final chapter of the book. Let me look at Adam in Acts 28. We're in Acts 29. We're the ongoing book of Acts. Hallelujah. And do the works that he did. Jesus said in John 14, 12, that very right I say unto he that believeth on me, how many believe in Jesus? Almost in him. So if there's anybody here that doesn't believe on Jesus, raise your hand. All right. Hallelujah. The works that I do shall he do also, and greater than these, because I go into my father. I uh, noticed the response of the disciples of threat. When did they pray for signs and wonders? Uh, that's what they did. They prayed for signs and wonders. Look at Acts 4, 20, 30, 29 to 31. And they were like, the hell they threatened. Remember, they got, they got threatened and told not to teach, teach, in the name of Jesus. And they went back to their own country. I'll tell you what, it's good to go to your own country. You don't need to go to country to people who don't believe in each other. Amen. You know, them unbelieving believers. If I don't believe in miracles, I don't believe in signs, I don't believe in Holy Ghost, I don't believe in manifestation of the Spirit, I don't believe in any of that, you know, but I love Jesus. Yes, they're unbelieving believers. They love it. Uh, they're going to heaven, but they make their trip with everybody else. Hallelujah. Look at them, they're here about threatening, and going down to God's servants that with all boldness, we speak and they speak by words, and expecting for it to come in to heal. And the signs and wonders may be done by the name of our holy child, Jesus. And when they were told, the place of Satan, where they were assembled together, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and they spoke the word with boldness. Let me say something. It's the same verse, right? They filled the Holy Ghost one time. This is a good thing. All right? This church is saying, I'm trying to fill me up, God, fill me up. And no, I've already been filled. You need to get filled again. You need to get filled all over again. Amen? Now, uh, Jesus himself is being filled with the Holy Spirit. 
you can eat them instead of being healed. Now, they write, you can you can drink it right out, and you don't care about that. Now, every week you come in here, and you get in here, there's four glasses of water up here. So by the end of the service, so we're going to get in back there. Yeah, go in back there. Amen. And so you're out in, in, in the world, and you're out doing things for God, and you're out and the world, and you're out serving the world in the world, and you're good enough, and you've got to get filled back there. It's a good thing you're okay and get filled again. Amen. I say it's a good thing you're okay and get filled again. Hallelujah. And when you're doing things, you're going to say the word of God. So what, so what would have happened by only speaking the word of God? Well, I got to believe what they say. That's what the fourth thing to hear when they were the Holy Child Jesus. Can you say amen? And with God's chapter 8, they told you there in chapter 4, you know God's chapter 8, and the people that went for it, they see, and there are things that fit, but hearing and seeing the miracles that she did. The unclean spirits, crying with my own voice, came out and handed it to death with them, and they took him with piety, and were lame, and were hit. And there was great joy in that city, Acts 16. And this is she, and then the woman called it the top of things, this Mary, the most high God, he you do. And then she had a good divination. And uh, he found out more about it. And he said, in green, turned and said, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of here. And he came out the same hour. Why don't you stop somebody from telling who you are? You know, you could get it with the wrong spirit, you don't want that. Amen. You got the wrong spirit, you got somebody who's coming in. And they're going to quit talking to them. They've got the wrong spirit. You don't want to hear what they got to say. They've got the wrong devil in there. You don't want somebody coming up and telling you about what you've done in your past. Hello? I see that in the past, you were this and you were that, and such and such, such and such. So, a lot of times, the bad thing is you're getting the gravel and you're following up on it yourself, and those people got a wrong spirit. They got a familiar spirit on them, and they're just saying something that you believe. They got something that they're talking about, and you just follow them around and don't talk to God. I don't like that. She was good. She was rich, better. She got a thing to turn to the tree. She could turn to the great, the dumb dog's face. Well, you're in the dog's face. You're in the dog's face. Well, the 
and we will still we will have a nation. Remember, this guy was still from the other side. But it's not certain that the family man do that to the family man. The family man do that. We tell him the church in the name of Jesus, saying, We are very new. But our Jesus is in power, don't you? You better know the Jesus you're casting out with. And you're going to get left if you don't. Amen. Now, don't you think it's how many people do it? Are you here? All right. Jesus turns and talks about Bible studies. We only get a bunch of and I'm going to find out here, they talk to my cats and I'm going to say, Jesus, what's the name of Jesus? 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 Amen. And the only one that puts it up, that means it's written with those little fancy things. That is not the one that I use to cast them out by. So it's good. And then it's good after Jesus, I don't know. 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 And the man who was the head, he was filled with weeks on them, and he came in, and he said, I'm going to get to them, and he said, I'm going to get to them, and he said, I'm going to get to them. You better watch out who you think you're doing, because you don't know Jesus. That one man who sold the devil to beat seven guys up. And that man wasn't lucky. And then he tried to cast him out without any authority. No. So you've got to be part of the church. You've got to be full of God, full of the Holy Ghost, for me to take the place. Right here, right here. We're the Bible, so it's not that bad. But I've heard the apostles many times, and one of them among the people. And they were out of the and the rest of them themselves to them, but the people magnified them, and believe it, the more added to the glory, most of them both have been women. And so much that they brought them forth the took it to the sea, laid them on board the statues. They are used to shadow of people. And it's not the way to shadow some of them. But they went to work to all the cities around about East Jerusalem, being in six months, and then the protection of the country, and they were healed every night. Then Simon was not unclean spirit of homosexual spirit. Then Simon was sexually baptized, and he was baptized, and he came out eight and nine, six children, and he was preached back, and he was given heed to him, 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 and he was given some of them received the word of God. They turned them into Peter John, who lays on them, laid their hands on them, they never received the Holy Ghost. When Simon was actually laying on the top of the hands of the Holy Ghost, he said, He offered them under them money, saying, Give me the power of the whom I lay my hands, they might receive the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Yeah, I'm really about to jump out of your way. Now, Peter comes and sits down there and tells us what's going on. Because the heart is not right in the sight of God. You're born again, 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 you're born even James tells in James 5, 15, the first place to save the sick or heal the sick, and the way to raise them up, 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 and the way to raise them up. Now, praying, being full of the Holy Ghost, praying for miracles, having an expectation for miracles, will lead to a supernatural thing. I'm going to say, we need this, the church, we need to believe that we're in miracles. And say, there's a way to take control. That's an expectancy on the part of the believer. Amen. Amen. John 3.16 says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Okay, we've got to get people into the kingdom. And then Matthew 4.23, Jesus went to all Galilee, teaching them in the synagogue, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. See, God is always going to use Jesus to heal the sick. Remember Acts 10 30 years? I died in the way of Jesus from Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good and healing all that were touched with the devil, for God was with him. Amen. So God believes in signs and wonders and miracles. Well, because it's the journey back to the kingdom. There are opening passages in Mark 16, 15 through 20. Look at that, Isaiah 55, 8 through 13. My thoughts are not your thoughts. And neither am I what is your way, say it to us. See, we got something. I'm all for the respect to get people in the door. You know, you know, I mean, and reaching out and texting people if they come to our church and, you know, I mean, you know, the UK is not going to come and get just found out about the church. But once they walk through the door, it can't be a limit when they're going through the door. Are you here? 
come here to have milk flour, you know, it's going to have milk for people to keep the children up walking around and get $100 out of it. We're not going to do that. That's not a lot of money. You know, but you've got to use the churches to keep $5,000 back. But you're not going to use the churches. So, right. And then it's not so simple. You have to get to know the community you're involved in and being part of the community and that you get your next recognition as you do go out there. So I'm going to ask you to take a moment. All right? Let me tell you something. These things, what they get in the building, they won't tell us. It's the key things, what they get in the building. You have no power. No more ethnic power. No one that convicts people to be dangerous to the state. No more things. You're, you're not going to do anything. You're just going to have a, you're going to have a, a, a Sunday morning crowd of people that come and hang out for the, you know, the movies and the family. It's been, uh, Randy Green said about the church that he's in prison, you know, all the cigarettes and all the content that they called them DVs and Amway. You know, they were both bad or afraid to see DVs and Amway. But they were the candy of life. See, the candy of life is the same. We have many people in, no annoying of having a, you know, a school program here, a school program there, and sitting in charge of, you know, this program that they, they got down there. They didn't have any serving the board. And bring in charge. I think, you know, the Bible talks very clearly about those who serve in leadership. They didn't even pull a favor on the Holy Ghost. Amen. They have a reputation. They need to have certain things in it. But, you know, that's, that's another guy. Another church service. And he's trying to say, God thinks differently than man. 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 God thinks of spiritual salvation without getting that spirit saved. You've got to get a born again. My thoughts, not your thoughts, neither my ways, uh, your ways, says the Lord. So the heavens are higher than yours, than, than yours. So my ways, ways higher than your ways, my thoughts than your thoughts. Where the rain comes down, and the state of heaven returns not to her, it will be there to make it up the rain forth and bow that it may be a seed to the sower and bread for the eater. So shall my word be. The God put out of my mouth, it shall not return to me born. But it's got to accomplish that which I sent it to, um, that which I plead, and to prosper the thing whereunto I sent it. For you shall go out with joy to go forth with peace, and that in the hills to break forth before you in the scene, and the trees of the field shall fall for him, instead of going to come up the first uh, tree, and instead of rise to come up the myrtle tree, and it, sh- and it shall be to the Lord for a name, for an everlasting time that shall, shall not be set up. Now, so shall my word be. You see, we've got nine churches in the church of the word that have signs of wonders that confirm the promise. Following the promise. Can you say amen? We need, we need the demonstration of the Spirit of God confirming the preaching of God's Word. People need to come in contact with the truth and instinct. We can't have some, well, we don't do that on Sunday morning because we're not sending people. I'm going to say that might be the very first thing that meeting this morning that needs to sit down for text from God to transform their life. And because you don't want to send them, you don't, you don't offer them. All right? You look in Jesus' day, and you had rulers of synagogues coming to get what he had to say. They heard about him, and they came one miracle. The people want miracles. People want the touch of God. People want transformation and change. And then, and it's only going to be done because we preach the word, and we give text. So, I just wanted to be on Sunday morning, special service. We have a mayor, the president, and I don't know whoever's here tonight. So, he's at the church. Amen. Amen. Well, you can't back down because of a dignity. You know, when, when you come down to it, that dignity is going to be taken from the same way every man does in the church. When you have the church, you hear me go home. I don't know many men go down the road for the church. Most of them, you know, when you have the church, 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 you just wear that cloud into them. This is great. Come on. Jesus said in verse 24, 49, But I have sent the promise of the Father unto you, the prayer in Jerusalem to you, and be with God upon earth. Notice that Jesus didn't let them go out and witness after his ascension until they received power. That's what it is. You shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be, and you shall be, and you shall be. They weren't even the witnesses until they received the power of the Holy Ghost coming on. They were witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, Judea, and the Samaria, and to the Adam, and the Why? 
Because they needed the power of the Holy Ghost, the power of one of the miracles to follow that. Amen. And then in the first thing the church did was they got in that room, prayed, the Holy Ghost started up, they let that fire go ahead and go to the other city things right out on the porch, and it was amazing for people. We didn't want a 15 minute event to follow up from all of them. People coming in from all over time to see what was going on up there. And then here you go home. And then we got to find this piece of water, a huge cross, and everybody's far away from there. We're going to speak in our house in about 16 languages, and nations were listed. So then the cross, that was hot, and then all the other two were going on over there. And then we had a cross drive over there real quick. Amen? And then, we said they just said the power of England would be written.
And so they knew where the church grew after that. Right. Let me say something. In any, any administration like that, you know, Gibson had his stuff. I mean, not Gibson, but Gibson had one of those. You know, uh, Reagan had that long concert. Clinton had the manifest. All right. Right now, the president has some badges and, and the IRS. Other people want more than anything else. I don't get it. They want to keep them on us. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is would have never begun on the presidency had he gone out when the day he found out about the guy breaking the blood gate and doing that intention. If he'd gone to the president and said, it just came to my attention the last night, certain people in the Republican Party went into the Board of Ed Hotel and stole information concerning the campaign strategy of the Democratic Party. I want you to know those people have been fired. We, we are we are thoroughly embarrassed by this event. You know, the fact that they're very forgiving. They won't forgive you going out there and saying, I don't know nothing about it. And then hate coming out and showing you about some events that they want to do. They won't put up with that. They won't put up with that. They are here and gone home. I love that stuff. And then I have to step back and I got my head with a hook to trap. God don't like all that mess in the church. Proof of that is take it over and stay clean. You can't have that just on each of those political Monday on the ground. People weaving their way in to get close to leadership and get to the top and be in touch with certain people so they can make them run around and strut about their positions or whatever or have them. God's not interested in that stuff. Alright. The church ever seen. Like 
just feel free to do it. It's a normal way to do it. You know, it doesn't matter where it is. You've got something you've got to buy you. You can see it with someone who's like, you know, they're me. Really, you can have a electrostatic field with him maybe 140 yards. Now you think that you're going to have a little stone, but that's a little trick. And then you're going to go. Amen. You know? It's a very great thing. You say, here's the awful trick. Here's the miracle from the book of Acts. Then you're going to have a healing, raising the dead. They're great miracles of judgment. And then you're going to accept all of them. That was a great thing. Thank you for us. No way of that trauma. They came to what a guy in synagogue to do. And then I asked the guy to the minister. And then they went to the higher captain. They found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, who was under the blood of Jesus. And he was the deputy of the country. Uh, I'm sorry. Which was with the deputy of the country. So he was a student of him. He came to Brian with a song and desired to hear the word of God. The Elamist, the sorcerer, or so his name is by interpretation, was still him. Taking the part of the deputy from the faith. You're going to have people. People. We have got to learn that this stuff about loving people when they're resisting the gospel is not love. I think you understand. Does anybody know? Some of them didn't well. He didn't mean well. He was resisting the gospel. He was trying to keep this deputy from receiving Christ. He was working as an emissary of the evil. We have got to learn to discern between what is disinterest and somebody doing stuff out of business and doing what evil spirit about what evil people. If you just don't like to know that, I don't want to go back with the person that's trying to stop. And then deal with that devil that's in you. You just pray out. If it's a good thing, we've also called Paul into this. Well, no, we've called Paul. It's all in the book of Acts. And so, I love you. And the Lord of God only will call you to repent. And if we say you love him, he loves you. And if you say that, I like that. Excuse me. See, you better read the whole Bible and stop reading your book and run it on your kingdom. The Lord of God is a powerful force in the kingdom of God. But I'm telling you, you know, not everything's in the hands of you going, I love you, you love me. I saw that on the show. I got better than that spells on, darling. I got better than that. We're a happy family. We're a great big family to see. Don't you say you love me? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. And you say, I don't know. Don't you say, I don't know. Yeah. 
someone of the devil that blames how the person is with God. That was my question, preacher. Wait a minute. The working of miracles, so the sign of one of the miracles, the God is more powerful than the devil. You know, I, I, I don't think I'm going to preach it. I heard you say it. Somebody will put it on the side and say, I don't know. No, God gives him to the child of the devil to get in the right place. Now, we don't know what happened to Seth, right? He may have come back when he took remedy. He's only going up for season. He may have come to the Lord out there. We don't have a record of that. We don't know. He may have offered him the right place. We don't know. We do know this. So he talks about that. I said, so he talks about that. And he was a man of influence in the country that age. Are you? Because of the miracle of the power of the devil going on. How many times can we all be touched today? See, we don't even want God doing the good things that occur because we think we're going to run people off. But I'm going to run people back now. And the spirit of God is specializing for people, you know, uh, um, and I'm going to come out there when I ask this guy what I say. So I saw my hands out of money. And somebody writes up and says, I saw my hands out of money. And the first step is, God said to me that you took down the house. I don't know if this is all I did. Boom. And the church goes. Most church people get it in money. They wouldn't know that they wouldn't know a miracle thing. So I read this guy in the street. He's saying, two to two people came up to him, come up to him, and went on the phone. Not concerning you trying to stop the witnesses, and, and you say, because you're providing righteousness and you're not cheating the gospel, you're blaming for sin. <laughs> and they said, let's go walk around trying to find somebody to be around. People don't get saved because of the gospel of the Lord. I don't know. You get too stuck on motor, so that's what they're going to do. I don't believe that's how God does it. Let me get it right here. He has two accounts in one book that he did those things. Because people were inhibiting the gospel. Three. It's just a part of that faith. Because he set up the power of the fall on the road to the ministry. It's like the just say to go to hell now method. When Jesus showed up and got the young power off his horse, Paul, it was not a social business. It was not a Facebook post. It was not a poor dear Miss Sally, a Jewish healer. It was to get saved to go to hell. I'm done with you. So what did the Lord say to us? Thou, you know, thou, thou, why persecuted? He didn't say, my sir. He said, why are you persecuting me? And he said this, it's hard for you to take a chance to preach. You want to put it in my language? You in a heap of trouble, boy. Thou, you in a heap of trouble. And it's pretty sad. Really quick. I love the scripture because I just, I just think it is a, what did you want me to do? Lord, the Lord, the Lord. And he went, Lord, if you believe this from God, the best of the Lord, didn't say, his father's standing there, the Lord is raised up from the dead, and he called him Lord, he got saved. And then Lord told him what he had to suffer for his name's sake. Three times the book of Acts and Miracles were brought in, in, in the interest of the nation of the kingdom. That were not like the same one in the middle that you like to talk about. People call them dead from lying to the Holy Ghost. Some, someone purposefully perverting the ways of God and trying to inhibit the spreading of the gospel. And then those who are persecuted, the church are pushing them and taking them with letters bound to be judged and fired. The Lord didn't put up with that stuff. Those are miracles that happen in the church. They get up in the pulpit on Sunday morning and, and, and a prophet walks in. The Lord put me in the and you've been sitting with the wind there to fix the tent. Or, or, you know, your days are short. I'm in the middle of the day. Is that 
Thank you.